welcome back to my channel i was having a lot of requests on how i do my makeup and honestly i don't even really do that good of a job at makeup but it was highly requested so i guess i'll just show you guys how i do my makeup on a daily just basic makeup um i'm not really gonna like label this as a tutorial but i mean call it what you want i don't know this is just how i do my makeup so let's get started okay so first thing first is i prime my face but um i normally use the pore professional uh face or like face primer but i was all out so if not that then i use just the sephora brand um primer it looks like this and i already primed my face so after that um it's really hard for me to find a really good foundation to use because my skin tone changes like a lot so but as of right now i'm using this one and honestly i don't even know how to say it so but it looks like this and it's really good lady at ulta told me that a lot of women use this for their weddings and stuff so it was highly suggested to me what i normally do if I don't have a pump, this one doesn't come with a pump, but you can get it separately. It's an extra $10. I thought that that was a little bit too pricey, so I just didn't do it. But normally what I do if I have a pump, I will just pump it on my face. But if not, then I put it on my beauty blender and I always wet my beauty blender before putting it to use, which I already did. Um, I have a lot of redness in my face. So I tend to use a lot of foundation. I know a lot of people don't really seem to go crazy on the foundation. That's just me. And I also know that a lot of girls like to do their brows before their foundation. That's not really me either. So I take it from the forehead and then I put some on my cheeks. And I start dabbing it, the beauty blender down. I honestly probably put a little bit too much on my forehead than what I normally do honestly I go underneath my eyes and look up to get it in that little crease right there I never put foundation directly on my nose because then it'll be too cakey so I just take the foundation that I'm using and then put it on my nose and like blend it into my nose kind of um I always put foundation on my lips because I'm not trying to have like a ring of just like whiteness I feel like that would look a little a little gross and then like afterwards I'll wipe it off or something or do a lipstick but another thing that I really like to do when doing my makeup is after I blend it around my face, then I'll take it onto the eyelids because my eyelids will definitely be a different color. I don't ever put like extra. The only places that I really put foundation at is my forehead and my cheeks. I don't put extra on my nose or on my eyelids or any of that weird stuff. I just kind of blend, 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 blend. But I most definitely always prime my face, like for real. I probably could have honestly damped this beauty blender a little bit better, but it's whatever. Funny thing is that I never have done my makeup in this ring light before. This is actually a new ring light that I got a couple days ago. I normally like just do it in my mirror. So this is like a first. So after that, a lot of girls I like, use powder. I don't really do that um, anymore. And I used to bronze. Don't really do that anymore either. I don't know why. I used to conceal. Don't do concealer anymore unless I'm having really bad bags. And if I'm having really bad bags, then I'll use the NARS concealer and do under my eyes and nose and the forehead. Um, 
I'll use NARS. If not, then I'll use Sephora's brand um, of concealer. It's very, very, very like high coverage concealer. It works a lot. A little bit goes a long way. It looks like this, but I won't be using that today. So I normally just get like, um, I normally just get a powder brush by Real Techniques. I really like uh, the way how it feels. Um, I feel like getting high like end brushes is just not necessary. Honestly, there's a lot of dupes that are like really better, but I just go in with this. But the point of me doing this is I feel like it just makes me feel better. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, this is what I normally do. And I make sure everything's blended into my neck and no streaks. Okay, I'm back. I forgot my setting spray. So after that, I set my face and I normally use the Urban Decay setting spray, but at the Ulta where I live, they just launched Morphe products and I hate ordering stuff online. So I was just waiting for them to um, launch their like brand and their of makeup at Ulta and they finally did. And so I decided to try out the Morphe setting spray and honestly, I've had really good experiences with it. I really like this setting spray. And so, yeah. So then after I do my foundation and then just go over with the powder brush, I just set my face. And I kind of tend to do a lot because after this, I highlight. And I feel like when you highlight before, um, I mean, I feel like if you set your face and then highlight, it'll make it glow better versus doing highlight and then setting your face. I feel like it makes it look more clumpy and I don't really like that. So, um, I'm really bad at like what, um, highlights are really good to use. Cause I normally just use the same one all the time and that's the Urban Decay Afterglow. Um, it's kind of dirty right now, but yeah, I use this and mine's broken, but I use Bliss and I'm not even going to show you guys what it looks like. It comes with four because mine's just cracked and it looks nasty. So I go in with Bliss and it's like a, um, like a gold color. I put that on my brush. One of like the only real like expensive brush that I really like is the Sephora brush. It's their, um highlighting brush I don't really like the fan brushes I like this brush better but yeah so I go in with this and I go like this and I kind of just I don't know don't make fun of me about how I do my makeup because everybody does it different and y'all ask so this is what you get <laughs> So then I like do it like this. And then after that, I just go like three strokes to the nose because I don't really like nose being highlighted that much. I don't really think that looks good. And then I do my Cupid's bow, which I love, love, love doing this. And then sometimes I'll go up in the forehead and just kind of drag it down. Sometimes I'll do my highlight first. Sometimes I'll do my brows first. It's just whatever I'm feeling. And then my chin. Okay. And then after that, I normally do my brows. Um, I use the Benefit Brow Pencil. It comes with the spoolie on this end. I don't know where my little lid is to it, but whatever and um a pencil on this end and it's really nice i really like this um i don't really want to do my brows on camera because kind of out of control right now they need to be waxed but i haven't had the time to go get them done where i normally go to get my brows done is ulta um they're a little bit pricey but i feel like their people know what they're doing and they do a really good job at least where i live but yeah, I need to get my brows done bad. So it's kind of hard to film in. They might not look perfect. But with that being said, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back with the brows. Um, I realize that this one looks a little bit thicker than this one. Also, like I said, they need waxed. And 
eyebrows are not twins, they're sisters, so. So then after that, I set my face again. Um, also, another tip that I forgot to say, I know some girls do this, they like to put setting spray on their highlighter brush and then do their highlight. That works too, yeah. Mascara. I like to use the Better Than Sex mascara. That's literally all I use. That's probably the most expensive uh, thing of makeup that I buy other than my foundation. I normally invest a lot into my foundation and my um, mascara but this time I got the miniature one because the larger one is like $22 or $24 I don't know and this one was 12 so I was just like whatever I'll just get this one um also in case people were wondering about my setting spray um this was only $8 setting spray versus the Urban Decay setting spray is like depending on like what size you get it could range from like $12 to like $32 and nobody's trying to pay that much this is a great dupe I like this a lot so I just put on my mascara. So after that's done, I normally get like a towel and like wipe off the excess of my foundation. So I'll just But I'll try not to really mess with my cupid's bow because I still want it to like shine. Um, my highlight. Um, after that, I like to either a lip gloss or chapstick or a lipstick, whichever one I'm feeling. Today, I'm just going to go in with a chapstick. And yeah, that's basically how I do my makeup. If I use a lipstick, I really don't get too creative with it. I literally only use, um different shades most of the time if I use lipstick and that's the I think you say Stilla um it's in the patina color shade I don't know it looks like this I got mine from Sephora um I really like this one and I like the Kylie Jenner lipstick in this shade Savage, I really like that. When it comes to like lipsticks and stuff, I'm more of a matte girl, but that's just me. If not, then I just stick to like lip gloss, chapstick. I'll normally put on a chapstick and then like a gloss. But yeah, that's how I do my everyday makeup. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, comment down below more ideas for me to um, do on my channel. And yeah, bye guys.